Bana Joffrey, can you log in? Yeah, we are waiting for you. Oh, okay, okay. Hello, we have three people now. We can move on. Can we move on? Hello there. We can move on? Yeah, what's up? Okay, all right, all right. Remember we ended on the... Oh, oh, maybe we can wait for our colleague. Is it Sorry? fine? I'm sure we have noticed it get logged in. One of our colleagues is not yet logged in. Yeah, he's coming in as well. I can see. So I think we are okay now. We were on the, the attaching of the sales order. That's where we ended. So we move on. Yeah. So I'm uh, attaching that sales order here. Okay. And select the tax invoice here. All right. So here, I will say, yes, I have an order. All right. Right. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's not here. It's the, where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay, yeah. So I don't have any more. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen that? I put the sales order there. It has come automatically. Hello. Yes, we are following. Yes, we can hear yeah. you. You can see that the order has come automatically to the data sheet. So the only thing which I need is to save it and make it, convert it to an invoice. So I'll come here and do it like this. Open my gadget. Is this thing on? Okay. Yeah, it's only there. Then you wait for it to communicate to ZRA. Okay. Yeah, it has already uh, been signed. So, here is in my invoice or the other one is not yet posted. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah. Okay. So you can uh, attach that invoice. Yeah. Five so seconds. Comes... Five seconds. Uh, I have one question, Christopher. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So we, you were just showing us uh, a sales order, correct? Yes, it was order, yes. And then you just converted it into an invoice. Into an invoice, but there is one field which we forgot. We are supposed to put also the purchase order number. Yeah. Yeah, want to remember yes, our we do. there. Yeah, okay, only perfect. notes we're supposed to do to put the sales order number. Yeah. Uh, so that it was supposed right. to appear here as okay, well. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, so otherwise. You can start from sales order up to an invoice. At, at the invoice stage, you simply convert it. That's all. Yeah. So that's the way how it Thank works. You. Okay. All right. So we can move on here. Yeah. First, let me post this so that we have enough space. Okay. Yeah. Remember, when you don't post an invoice, it doesn't go to the ledger. So make sure that it is posted so that it goes to the financial ledger. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we are done here. For the sales accounting, this is the way how it works. So unless there are some other questions we want to pose, you can go ahead. Hello? Any more questions? Any more questions? Yes, Christopher, I just wanted to find out uh, uh, what. Hello, can you get me? Yeah, I'm getting you loud and clear. 
Hello. Yes, Geoffrey, I'm getting you. Yes, uh, Christopher. Okay. okay, good. I wanted to find out um, the security features which uh, your software has uh, in terms of uh, privacy. In terms of privacy, what do you mean? It try to like, elaborate uh, even more. Uh, uh, can... Okay, uh, what I wanted to find out is um, how safe is it like uh, for us once we get it uh, in terms of uh, uh, having the security that no one can be viewing uh, uh, our report, no one can easily log into our our system. The security features. The security features, you have to use your password. You log in in the normal way. How do you log okay. in in, in QuickBooks? You use the password. Even here, you use the password. Okay. But you need to tell us in advance okay. to say, okay, who is going to do the account? Who is going to do the accounts like okay. that? So that we assign those privileges according to what you prefer. You need to write us to say, okay, we need A, B, C, D. This person will be doing A, B, C, D. Because right now I'm using manager's rights, okay? So that I have everything which, okay. which, which is found in here. So that's really how it is. So to, to answer okay. your question properly, yeah, let me, when you come here, since we are using manager's rights, this is where you assign your, your users, okay? So there is uh, this yes. one, you, you say, uh, staff login, they type in their username, the password here, okay? Then you add it there, okay, as the manager. Then from here, then you come back here, you add now the, the, the rights. As you can see here, okay, these are the users who are there. So if I change the rights here, these are all the rights which are there, which we need, which are waiting for people to be assigned, okay? So in the, the one which we are using is this one, manager's rights. That's what we have assigned, okay? So it's up to you to decide who is supposed to view what. Yeah. So here, oh, okay. Okay, okay. okay. another question. Oh, uh, okay, I've got another question. Uh, the other question is uh, how many uh, like uh, users are allowed to use? Is it going to be connected just on one PC or... No, it can, what uh, you need to do, my boss Lina can have uh, yeah. You need a local area network. Are we together? When you need the okay. local area network, yes. then you need to come here, okay? Then you say change backend, okay? Then change backend holding, all right? So now you see what to open there. So this cafe which you are seeing here. It has to be cooked and put okay. it on the server, okay? So that everyone is accessing okay. it mm -hmm. via the server, okay? So meaning okay. each workstation will be linked to the server. So whatever you log in there is your different matter. The server will be different. So in short, what I'm trying to do to say, you need to nominate one computer, not a laptop, because a laptop you find that it, what if the if we put the database on a, a laptop? What if that person doesn't come in post? Then that's it. You can't log in. So I prefer you put it either on a PC which is not movable, okay? So that whoever comes, okay. they can go with their laptop, but they can't log in until they come back to the office there. Yeah, yeah. So from there, the just office, to the local area network. That's all. Okay, so just repeat yourself one more time. Five seconds, Christopher. Okay. Uh, just to confirm one more time, it's connected to one server. How many of those devices do we need? No, only the person who is the processing the invoices. If you want to have two people processing the invoice, get two devices from ZRA. Remember, this software is only uh linked for only those people who are doing invoices for if you are not doing invoices you don't need a device you can use it because you are not uh, doing any only the people unless you are telling me that all of you guys will be generating invoices i thought uh, i think it will be maybe two or three that's it 
So if you only want the who be responsible for invoice, you only get one gadget, that's all. The rest you can still use the other modules. There will be no need for any device. Only what you need is a local area network so that you access the server. What I mean by the server is a shared file on the local server or local computer or laptop so that everyone is locked into that one. Okay, one question. Uh, so you said that those that don't have the device, um, the rest can use the other modules. What are the other modules? You have the receipts there. You have payroll there. You have the inventory there. You have also the general ledger is there. The cash book is there. Fixed assets is there. You have also project accounting is there. You have also budgetary control is there. All these, they don't require the network, the, the gadget, no. Gadget is just for a small thing, the invoicing part, that's all. Got it, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything more? Yes, I do. Sorry, I have another question. Um, okay. Now, does this accounting, does this accounting software link to our bank account? Ah, no, 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 it no. does. No, it right? doesn't. Yeah, because doesn't. the issue is it, EA in Zambia is quite difficult to get a, what we call an API from the bank to link it. We tried it. There are others who wanted the SMS to be linked here, but the cost and the security features, they said, uh, no. So that's why we couldn't go ahead with that. Otherwise, we had that idea. Yeah. So that's the thing. I know QuickBooks, yes, somehow I don't know how they managed it. But here we tried the challenge, you see, to approach the bank to say, can you give us the API so that our client can link? They refused. Okay, and um, uh, Geoffrey, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm hearing you. Okay, um, does Pastel, uh, does a does Pastel software account link to um, a bank account, our bank account? Uh, Pastel software account, uh, not, it's yeah. not links to their bank account. It's not, mm. okay, just wanted to know. Okay, sorry, continue, that's all I had to know. Okay, so that's why how actually it works in the nutshell. Yeah, because uh, I think for the invoices, uh, we have covered it. So if you want to know more, what we can do, we have some videos uh, which we have lined up. I think uh, when you're sending these in the afternoon, I can also include them so that uh, you can have a look at uh, yes. them at your own time. Yeah. Uh, Yes, please send me send, send us all of the videos that you have in regards yes, yes. to all the modules. Okay, yeah. we'll especially on invoicing, especially on invoicing and uh, those. I think we will need uh, a lot of uh, record, yeah. recorded. Uh, yeah, the recorded one would be the first one. Then the second one is the other videos. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe Thank you, Christopher. Can... Do we have anything else? Yeah, the other thing which I will say, okay. I will emphasize to say, ah, do not make a payment until you get a gadget from ZRA. To get a gadget from ZRA, you need to, I will send Mr. Geoffrey the forms, which I think uh, since the director is in here in Osaka, you need, you need to route them to him after filling them in so that he goes to ZRA and get a gadget. Once the gadget is ready, then we need to configure it ourselves here in Lusaka. Then okay. test it and ensure that it's working. Because sometimes okay. you find that their configuration is not okay. We had to take it again back. Once we, we, are, we are okay, that's when we we'll actually, either we create it there or we give it back to okay. your director, then he will send it to Sorwezi. So that when it comes no, there, the it will be just plug in, you start working. Yeah. Okay, the best okay, is just to give the director there, then he can find means how he can 
Yes, it's clear. The best is just to give it to the director who know how to Korea it here to sort of. Oh yeah, yes. So okay. uh, I'll send you okay. the forms. The forms which you need to fill in for ZRA, then after that, then they will give you a gadget ZRA. Then ZRA, once they give you a gadget, you need to communicate to say we have gotten the gadget so that we configure. There is ZRA don't have a machine, a small machine which configure the, the card reader, okay? Yeah, SD card. It's us who has that machine. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so one question that, I need to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to know the timeline. From the moment the form is given to Geoffrey to ZRA approving, um, to ZRA providing us a gadget and to you configuring, configuring the gadget, how mm -hmm. long will that process take? Okay, if from for getting example, the gadget to you configuring. If you take the gadget, you take the form, let's say Monday. By Tuesday, you have it. Then you will have configured the same Tuesday ourselves. Then you can get it and courier it. Then Wednesday, we'll start using it. Because what we can do, the software will be stored online through all the computers there. Okay, uh, okay so, so it's guaranteed it by Wednesday. Tuesday, it will be on uh, Tuesday because uh, Monday will be already Oh, yeah, yeah, it will be on Tuesday, sorry, yeah, Monday is a holiday, yeah. Uh, but uh, this afternoon, I'll send you the forms, which are which will okay. help you to fill in. Uh, then, uh, okay. I don't know if you, yeah, I don't know, if I, if you are okay, I can send them to you. Yeah, even right, right okay. now after the meeting, I can send them, yeah, so that uh, we can help you to fill them in. Then you can simply okay. pass them to your director, that's it. Okay, yes, so those please do are, send those forms. Th those are soft copies, or I need to print them out. Yes, the soft copies, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I yeah. can type on the soft copies or out. Oh, no, 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 they are PDF. Sorry, they want them PDF. to be in PDF. If you want to type them, then you need to convert them from PDF to weight. There is a converter one line if you want to do that. It's one and the same thing anyway. But which one do you prefer? Is it a printed one? The printed one? Uh, a printed or one will be much it? no, a printed one will okay. be much better yeah. because just... you have to put it, you have to send them by email to your director to sign so that they will look okay. Because when okay. if you okay, just to stop you right there. Hello? Hello? Okay, yes. so Mike Mike will take care of this. Mike is based in Lusaka. Mike is uh, is okay. our other accountant based in Lusaka. He will take oh. care of the form and send it to ZRA. Oh, and the uh, same day, hopefully okay. the next day, you should get the yeah, you should get the gadget the next day. No, mm -hmm. Mike, our accountant is based in Osaka. He will deal with the form. Okay, okay, that's fine then. Yeah. Uh, um, I just okay. need to know one other thing. Uh, what was your reason as to why a laptop is not recommended? Sorry. What was your reason as to why a laptop oh, is not is recommended a laptop for is, a gadget to? A, a laptop is movable. For example, look at it this way. What if someone goes somewhere maybe in town with the whole entire software and loses the laptop? Then what next? So that's why okay, we understood. normally recommend at least a desktop which is not movable. Okay? So okay. that the chances of losing the database, unless you are, you are, okay, unless you will be backing it up, every day so that in an event where you lose the laptop you can still go back to the backup but it's quite i don't know uh, understood um next question does this gadget have any specific requirements as to what kind of pc or desktop it requires would yes, an apple will. be okay uh no 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 apple 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 no 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 apple piece as long as there is window oh no you need window 10 sorry window 10 and the up upward while the others the software the actual software doesn't care whatever window which you have it can still open but for the gadget you must have at least window 10 or 11 or anything up window windows 8.1 is deprecated it's no longer working at that one so you need to have window 10 and up professional okay so we need windows correct yes 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 you can't have okay 
So I think I have a what question. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, you talked about the machine. Is it the EFD machine? You see, it's called the ESD, Electronic Signature Device. It's a small gadget which you can even put in your pocket. Not those black ones. Okay. I think when you say EFD, you're talking of those uh, is for black machines. No, not those. There are those white ones, the okay. small gadget which you can which can even fit in, in your pocket. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. trust I'm I'm well. Thank you. Okay. All right. Are there any other special requirements that we need to know of when it comes to the okay. software? Does they, Excel have to be a certain software? Does something have to be different? No, 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 no. Nothing. This one, once we install it there, oh yeah, the only requirement is uh, you need to have Microsoft access on your laptop there. If you don't have Microsoft access, let's say 2016, we, it runs also on a runtime, which is a free download. We'll put it there. That engine will still drive your, your software. So that's the way how it is. The reason why it was developed in such a way, uh, we realized to say most of these companies, they may not have a 90 person who is familiar with the uh, SQL Server. Okay, those SQL Server is also coming. But if we were to use the SQL Server, I would have told you to say you need it a qualified IT to run it. Now you may not have that kind of resources. That's why most of the people who are using it, they opted for this because once it's installed, there is nothing like today is not working or system downtown. No, it doesn't exist. Once it's installed, it's running, it's running. The same way you run Excel. You have never seen that today Excel has failed to run. No, because of the same engine which we are using, it's in the same family. Okay, thank you. And last question, how many users are we allowed to have? Uh, for users, you can have up to 10 users. Okay. What else? Geoffrey, Mike, do you have any questions? Okay. Yeah, I think I've got one question. Um, uh, is it uh, since you said uh, it works as uh, it has the same engine like uh, similar to let's say to Excel? So uh, let's say if uh, let's say we are offline, are we able to still access and uh, uh, continue with our work in case we've got a challenge with network? Okay, the way how it is in an event whereby you don't have the internet, okay, then all you need to do is. You plug in the gadget, you'll be able to generate the invoices offline. Okay, there are 2,000 uh, invoices which are provided so that you can use it when the, the network is back. Then you need to upload all the invoices. It's a very small thing anyway, it's not even complex, so that they go to ZRA. But the software itself, uh, you don't necessarily need, you don't need the internet. What I said is you need the local area network so that you share the folder. Each person is able to access the database. The internet or the router, the router which you are going to use is for the gadget so that it's able to pick that information from your laptop or from whatever computer to ZRA. That's all. So the internet is only required for the gadget. The software doesn't require the internet. It will only require local area network for the purpose of sharing the database. That's all. The same way you use, if you have been using, let's say, uh, even QuickBooks, that's way how it works, I think. Yeah, you use the local area network, then everyone, you don't necessarily need the, the internet, no. Everyone is using the local internet, the local area network using maybe, uh, uh, some kind of uh, a, a connection there, okay? You may not need necessarily to have the internet. Yeah, it will still work the same way. Are we together there? Hello? Hello? Hello, people? Oh, they have gone. Hello?